I'm excited. You know, we get a chance to jump back out. I, um, you know, extending my partnership with Fubo. So January 14th, uh, Saturday, it'll be live on Fubo starting at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific. Um, we got some really big guys in this card. It, it'll be out today. We're going to be announcing some stuff leading up to the fight, some really big names. Uh, hopefully, we're going to be able to chance, get a chance to keep some of these guys. We, we think that, you know, they might go to a, to another organization <clears> after they double because they're pretty big names. But Lights Out Extreme Fighting 8, we're back uh, January 14th in Riverside, California. If you're in Riverside, be there. Get your ticket to LightsOutXF.com. But uh, this one, this one's a big one, and we got some special stuff coming up uh, on the return. Right. If people don't know, Sean is a, a huge MMA fan, and, and I can say this, Sean, because I know some people from the office have have went to one of your uh, your LXF uh, events in the past, and, and they had a blast. So great fights, uh, and, and I know the MMA fans are going to be super jazzed for this. Yeah, no, it's huge. And by the way, I told I told everybody in the office, come on, you know, come to the fight, drinks yeah. on me, have a good time. Uh, you know, I even tried to bring a few of them in the cage in between the fights. I don't think they like the blood. So uh, I, I'm going to try to drag them in there one of these times they get they get to the next fight. What do you want to do? You said you hope the guys don't leave. Is the the, the goal to continue to grow this thing and and to to be one of the big guys eventually? We obviously know yeah, the UFC. I mean, we know Bellator. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I think that, and I know Scott Coker and Dave, I know I've been around this space for a long time. Yeah. Uh, they all know that I have a big appetite for growing and 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 being, you know, um, you know, big in a space. But you know, ultimately, it's about giving guys these fighters more eyeballs, right? Giving them a platform to come and fight. UFC, Bellator, great organizations. Yeah. Um, they actually would it would make me get into the fight game and watch from the beginning. Uh, when lights out, I think that we have a, a, an opportunity to come in here and just give these fighters an opportunity to go and 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 take care of their families. Be legends in the sport be champions in the sport um and also too i can always sign them up man i don't know if you check me out on this brand but i'm signing these guys up left and right uh but i, I really do love this space and and if it, if it wasn't for football i probably would have transitioned into mma myself a long time ago well are people still asking you if you're going to fight i think i've asked you that a bunch of times in the past i <laughs> know <laughs> everybody wants badly wants to see you take a fight i'm not opposed to it I would I would fight I would fight the right former athlete, another guy in the WWE or something that people will pay to see and lights out. Um they they got my Instagram, they got my numbers. And you know, if anybody really thinking about it and it's a good fight and people want to see it, come on and step in lights out. I got no problem with that. We got anyone in mind, Moja? Do you have any uh, of your former WWE buddies? I, I'm just glad you asked me for my friends and didn't volunteer me for that fight. <laughs> you guys are friends. <laughs> you can't fight each other. You're buddies. <laughs> exactly we're friends yeah uh, look man first of all i gotta say the the instagram account definitely give sean a follow the the sign him up don't sign him up segments he does on his page are absolutely hilarious but on that page as well we see your training videos all the time i mean you you train as if you were preparing for a fight that's you know not in the future but around the corner i gotta think that whenever that time comes you're gonna be pretty close to ready yeah, you know, this is my thing, um, OG. You know how it is, transitioning from the game, just staying involved, right? So I'll have a camp. I just jumped into someone's camp uh, last week, and I, you know, right before the break, and I was training with them. We had sparring sessions. I felt good. Um, you know, I, I, I try to stay away from calling guys out because I do respect the sport. But, you know, you ask around this around this uh, this business and some of the guys I got a chance to have exhibition fights against or, or um, sparring, you know, they'll tell you I can go. So if, if it was the right opponent, the right person, um, and we needed to, to to really blow that thing up and lights out and put on a show. I think we should give people what they want to see.